Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okan, and I greet you all of you viewers. Much appreciate to have you. May God bless you. May the Lord be lamp in your life, and may the Lord enlighten you in darkness. Amen. Can we pray? Father, Lord God, we thank you for this day. Today is Saturday. I bring your message to your children. Father, let your word that carry power transform your children in every aspect of their life. For they should see the light of yours. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Viewers, we are here to share the word of God. And tonight or this morning, this afternoon, I just want to ask you what, uh, one question. What is God's purpose in your life? What is God's purpose in your life? And we are studying from Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible says that for we are God's workmanship created in Christ created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Amen. This morning, I want to tell you that you have a purpose in life. Every believer or every being, let me say it like this, every being has a purpose in life. God has a plan for you. Your life counts. Have, have you ever asked yourself, what is my purpose in life? You alone. Many people go through life feeling discouraged, depressed, and frustration about themselves, thinking they don't have a purpose in life. But that is not true. That is not true. You have a purpose in life. Whoever you are, whatever your life experience, talent, physical ability, or role, you have what a purpose in life. Let's look, notice two, two points in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. One, God created you. God created you. What am I trying to say? You are not an accident. You are not an accident. Two, God has a plan for you. You have a purpose in life. Amen. Please can you bring your comment, like this video and share it. So seek to support the ministry, God's work, so we can do more and greater works on here. Amen. So, as I continue, I tell you the truth. The Bible says that I tell you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. That is John chapter 3, verse 3. You understand? And John chapter 14, verse 6 says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from his death, you will be saved. Do you understand? So in, in Romans chapter 10, verse 10 says that, for it is with your heart that you believe, that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved if you you, you you would learn in your life that there is purpose that you have know that you are created by god's glory you are created by what god's what glory your purpose in life is to glorify God. You have a purpose. Everyone on this earth 
has a purpose. And your purpose in life is to glorify God. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 6 to 7, the Bible says that, Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory. Listen, no, for my glory, whom I formed and made. So you are created for God's what? Glory. You are created for God's glory. We are we, we are created for God's glory. Amen. So this is some of the purpose. As I move on, you are created to praise God. That is part of the hum humanity purpose. You are created to praise God. Your purpose in life is to praise and worship God. Is to what? To praise and worship God. The Bible says that in Psalm 86 verse 9 it says that all the nations you have made will come and worship before you. Oh Lord, they will bring glory to your name. So we are created and we, 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 we are created to what? To praise and worship God. That's why in Psalm 86 verse 12, David says that, I will praise you, oh my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. You understand? So the second purpose is that you are created to praise and worship God. Amen. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okank. Can they like this video and share it? Bring your comments, share the video, support God's work ministry. If you want to support the ministry through MoneyGram, Western Union, you know, or whatever, I welcome you. Amen. Now, we move on. You are created to grow in the spirit, uh, in the fruit of the spirit. You are created to grow in the fruit of the spirit. Amen. You are created to grow in the fruit of the spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23 says that, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So, the third purpose of our life or of your life is to grow in character is to what to grow in character the type of person you become is more important than your success and failure in this world i really love the bible verse that says that the fruits of the spirit when it talks of the fruit of the spirit, it talks of what? Having the Holy Spirit and out of the Holy Spirit, of the influence of the Holy Spirit, you bear a fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. All these things, it talks, when you gather it in a nutshell, it talks about what? Character. That you, you have to grow in the fruit of the spirit is part of our purpose in life as a believer you need to grow in love you need to grow in joy peace patience kindness when you do this thing is it is the fruit of the spirit you understand amen so i continue the fourth one is that you are created to spread the gospel you are created to spread what the gospel amen if you read the bible the bible says that in timothy chapter 4 says that we should preach the word we should preach the word in season and what out of what 
season. You understand? For the time is coming when people will not endure what sound teachings. So you need to preach. If you come down to 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 Second Timothy chapter four, the Bible chapter four verse four to five says that, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. This is to verse five says that. As for you, always be sober-minded and dear suffering. Listen, oh, do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Fulfill what? Your ministry. Do the work of an evangelist. That's why in Mark chapter 60, verse 50, it says that go here into the world and preach the gospel to all living what? Creatures. So you are created to spread the good news the gospel so your purpose in life is to tell others about jesus christ about jesus loves for them do you understand declare his glory among the nations his marvelous deeds among all, all people in psalm 96 verse 3 that's what david says so make known the nations what god has done and proclaim that his name is exalted so in Isaiah chapter 12 verse 4 says that make known among the nations that he has done and proclaim that his name is what exalted so as you read matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20 the bible says that therefore go 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 make disciples for all nations go make disciples for all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded you you understand god bless you god bless you Okay, our main purpose is to read our Bible, pray, serve the Lord with all our heart and mind. God bless you. Yes. If 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 you can't read the Bible, you cannot preach. You cannot spread the gospel. If you don't pray to have the Holy Spirit, you cannot spread the gospel and serve the Lord with all your heart and mind. Thank you. God bless you. You understand? So you are created to use talent. To, you are created to use talent God what gave you. That is another purpose in life. You are created to use talent God gave you. So your purpose, my purpose, our purpose in life is to develop and use our gifts. What gift do you have? The gift of giving. The gift of serving. The gift of healing. The gift of miracle working. Speaking in tongues. All these things are gifts. You see your talent. Do you understand? So whatever God has given it to you, it is not just for a fun, but it is for what? For a purpose. For what? A purpose. If you read Exodus chapter 30, from verse 1 downwards, the Bible says that the Lord said to Moses, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of U, of the tribe of Judah. Listen, Lord. I have filled him with the spirit of God, with ability and intelligence, with knowledge and all craftsmanship, to devise artistic designs, to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting stone for setting, and in carving wood, to work in every word, craft, and behold, I have appointed with him, Aholia, the son of Ahisamak, of the tribe of Dan, and I've given all I've given to all able men ability that they may that 
they may make all that I have commanded you. You see, God gave this man a talent, a gift. So has David. David also had a gift. How to play the harp. And he was being invited by his son servant to play a harp. And the Bible says that as they play the harp, the evil spirit of the Lord departed from him. So every gift that you have or God has given it to you is for a reason and for a purpose. Not to smoke, not to do evil things or not to do things in the world, but to use the gift and the talent in Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, your purpose in life is to what? develop and use your gift. As I'm using my gift right now, my gift is to preach the gospel, to pray for people, to heal people in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you understand? So, just as each of us as one body with many members, that's what Romans chapter 12, verse 4, it says. It says that just as each of us as one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function. You see, the body does not have the word the same function so in christ who are many form one body each member belongs to all the others we have different gifts we have what different what gifts according to the grace given us if you are man's gift in prophesying let him use it in proportion to his faith in proportion in uh, in his faith so at the level of your faith will determine how you use your gifts do you understand the level of your faith will determine how you use what your gift so he says that if it is serving let him serve if it is teaching let him teach if it is encouraging let him encourage if it is distributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it's showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. You understand? So we need to develop and use our gifts. Some people know how to give generously. Some people are born to be leaders. Some people are born to be teachers. Some people are born to be uh, entrepreneurs. Some people have the gift of prophesying. Do you understand? So, you are created to use your talent God gave you. Beloved, God bless you. My name is Apostle Emmanuel. Okay, can you like this video and share it? Let me see your comment. Like and share this video. Invite friends to join me here and the topic for today you have a you have a purpose in life Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 kindly sow a seed to support God's work if you need prayers counseling whatsapp me on plus two three three two zero two eight one zero 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 three or contact me in my messenger Facebook messenger and we will talk now as I continue I want to let everyone know, viewers, as you listen to me, I want to let you know and take this serious and take it. Don't minimize your role. In everyone's purpose, you must not minimize your role. If you are there to preach, preach by not looking at anyone. Don't limit yourself. Don't despise yourself. If you're a prophet, do what a prophet must do to fulfill his purpose or a purpose in life. If you encourage, 
continue encouraging. If you give generously, give generously. Never let anything to hinder your generosity. Do you understand? If you teach, never let anything stop your teaching. If you if if you see yourself as a leader, lead without not compromising or looking at someone or minimizing your role. Do you understand? All Christians collectively form the body of Christ. The body is formed of many different parts, as Romans chapter 12, verse 4 to 8 says. And if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 to 27 also says, so all are important, all are important. It does not matter what part of the body you are. You have a purpose. You can be the head. He it said, it, 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 the head has its function that it plays. The eyes also has its function that it plays. This thing has its function. The nose, the lips, the tongue, your chin, your neck, your shoulder, your chest, your, your hands, your arms, your fingers, your thighs, your waist, your knee, your ankle, your legs. This body that with different with various members, everyone has is or a role to play. So all are important. It does not matter what part of the body you are. So if you read First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 22 to 24, it says that on the contrary. Those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are all presentable are treated with special modesty. Why our presentable parts need no special treatment, but God has combined the members of one body and has given greater honor to the part that lacked it. Do you understand? So, we all have a role to play. As I'm preaching, your own may not be in preaching, but your own will be in giving generously. Your own will be leading don't limit or minimize your talent or your role in Christ. It's part of your purpose. Now, how to overcome jealousy and bitterness? Don't be upset if you don't have a place of prominence in your life. For as you read the above verse, that God gives special honor to people with less honorable rules what am i trying to say do not listen and listen carefully do not downplay the value of what you do don't compare yourself to others or give up if someone seems to do better job than you do of course there are others who have more talents if all the evangelists or high witness or teachers in the world decided to stop trying because someone else did a better job where would we be where would we be you understand what count is that you are what faithful god gave you talent he gave you ability. He gave you gifts. He expects you to develop them. He expects you what? To develop them. Practice make a man perfect. Don't think that people are teaching better than you. Continue to do what you can do. Don't think that this person is preaching 
better than you so you can't do it anymore do it don't think that this person can prophesy but you can't prophesy that him or her you can do something you can do something that he also can do it don't think that this person has so many branches and you have none so you are going to stop your pastoral journey don't stop continue to do what you can do because the bible says that god gives special honor to people with less honorable roles my brother my sister i'm expecting you to develop what you have and know that you have a purpose don't allow jealousy to overcome me or bitterness don't minimize your role god created you to develop your talent and your gift god created you to praise him and worship him god created you to spread the gospel god created you to the glory to his glory thank you and god bless you god keep you don't undervalue yourself do what you can do you have a purpose in life pray let the holy spirit lead you to identify your purpose in life and move in it and your life shall be a blessing my name is apostle Emmanuel okai god bless you and god keep you let's pray father we thank you for your word let the holy spirit speak into the soul of your children for them to identify their purpose in life and let their destiny be known to them and let them move to develop their talent and gift to glorify you to spread the gospel about your lord about your son jesus christ amen viewers i love you and god love you keep your dial on here every day tomorrow i'll come with you same time here my name is apostle Emmanuel okang from ghana so a seed to support god's work see you again peace shalom